don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey guys welcome back uh, to sahara football as usual i am your host selassie Fiawe. today we're going to talk about kevin prince boating and his fight for racism and his fight against systemic racism he says and he believes that it won't end until the key stakeholders involved in this systemic racism take a huge and vital stand. He wrote on the Players' Tribune, I'll be taking you through what he said in there. And he explains actually why, why he walked off a pitch when during a racist incident when he was playing for AC Milan in Italy. Also, I'll be talking to you about the $1.5 million fund relief that is coming to the Ghana Football Association from FIFA. Yes, we all know what COVID-19 has done to the world, plagued the world in so many ways we never knew it could be possible. We didn't know how vulnerable we were. This virus has exposed all our vulnerabilities and now FIFA is looking to relieve member nations. 211 member nations with some alleviation fund. Ghana is getting $1.5 million dollars and the women's football will get five hundred thousand dollars for its development in each member nation we'll also be talking about legon cities they have become the first team to take covid 19 test for all their players each test cost them eighty dollars and they are urging for support from government to help the clubs conduct all these tests all the tests have however come back negative i'll give you more details on that as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates so without much ado i'll get right into it and we all know what's happening in the world recently with covid 19 plaguing the world so much systemic racism across the world and the world took a stand there were protests across first of all in the united states and also in europe black lives matter t-shirts were worn by the european clubs that's in england in their first week of returning after three months of inactive football during due to the COVID-19 pandemic. One player who has shown how passionate he is about this fight for equality and systemic racism against that is Kevin Prince Boateng. Kevin Prince Boateng has been someone who personally on a personal level has gone through racism before on the pitch of play and he feels that those in higher places, those in involved those who are integral to the development and the movement of the world are not doing enough especially in football he recounts a moment eight years ago when he was playing for ac milan in which he was racially abused i'll take you through what he said but i'll leave a link to the full article on here in the description you have the power to do something you did nothing this is what he said let's not pretend and shock now seven years ago i was playing for milan in a friendly game when a group of fans made monkey noises every time one of our black players touched the ball after 26 minutes i told the referee if they do that again i'm going to stop playing he said don't worry just continue then as i was trying to dribble past the player i heard them again i grabbed the ball booted it towards the stands and began to walk off the pitch it wasn't the first time I had been racially abused, but this time I just exploded. When the referee tried to get me to play, I said, shut the F up. Sorry for the language, he apologized. I told him, you had the power to do something, you did nothing. When a rival wanted me to stay, when a rival player wanted me to stay on, I said, you shut up as well. What did you do about it? You like those watching, what are you doing? As I walked towards the tunnel, our captain Massimo Ambrosini asked me, are you sure about what you are doing? I said, 100%. Let me take a moment to explain why I did that. Some people have said that I had never done it in a Champions League game where our team might be deducted points or whatever, but I couldn't control it. I had bottled up so much anger and pain and that day the lid just blew off. I knew it's difficult for white people to understand, but that's because they have never been hated because of the color of their skin. Still, let me try to explain. When I was nine years old, I went to play in a tournament in East Germany. I grew up in a neighborhood in Berlin that was poor, and that 
was also home to people who were from every corner of the world russia china egypt turkey everywhere when we fought each other it was because we disliked each other in the moment not because of discrimination i never experienced racism there by the tournament in east germany i had parents shouting at me from the sideline tackle there using the n-word don't let the n-word play i was so confused i had only heard that word like maybe in a song or a movie or something but i knew it was something against my color i felt so alone i felt as if i was in a place where i was not supposed to be so this is a short recount there of an article by Ghanaian player kevin prince watting he is a strong advocate of racism systemic racism at that end he is here recounting how and what happened in 2013 when he was playing for ac milan and he was racially abused and walked off the pitch and he recounts his early years as a youth as a youngster and the first time he experienced discrimination he is a strong advocate and he's saying that more has to be done you can go have a read of the article i'll leave a link to it in the description i think this is the right thing to do and, and players who go through this really have suffered a lot kudos to kevin prince Watting for sharing his experience with us for letting those who are in authority know that they have the work they have the responsibility to make sure there is equality in terms of race for everyone across the world I'll go on to my next story and it's all about Legon Cities. I brought you a story a couple of days ago on the highest paid managers in the Ghana Premier League and I brought you the salary of Legon Cities manager to be $30,000. Yes, they have the big bags. Nouveau rich Legon Cities are the only club and the first club in Ghana so far to have conducted COVID-19 tests for all of their squad members. Each test, according to the reports, cost $80 to conduct and they have called on support from the Ghana government to help other clubs do similar as well so that we can get our football back on track. Legon Cities have been the only club to do that and if all 18 clubs are not unable to do that, it will be really, really difficult. Board member Fred Bignon revealed that the club paid $80 per test for the registered players to make sure they are all in good health. He revealed that all the test results came out negative. Now, the Ghana Premier League has been suspended for some months due to the pandemic and there are rumors that the season will be cancelled and a new season will begin later this year. Kudos to Legon Cities. They have made history. They are the only club in Ghana to conduct COVID-19 tests for every single squad registered player. My next story has to do with the Ghana Football Association and the funding coming in from FIFA. Now, the Ghana Football Association is set to re receive $1 million in grants from FIFA after the world governing body had approved a $1.5 billion relief fund to help member associations impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. It will receive an extra $500,000 to support women's football. The GFA already benefited from $500,000 from FIFA's earlier release of the FIFA Forward Funds. Gianni Infantino, the FIFA president, said the relief fund that had been unanimously approved by the members of the council and insisted that there would be strict controls on how the money is spent. All 211 member associations will be entitled to a basic solidarity grant of $1 million each as well as $500,000 which is meant to be invested in women's football. In addition, member associations can also apply for COVID-19 relief loan worth 35% of their revenue up to a maximum of up to $5 million each. Continental governing bodies will get 2 million grants relief and can also apply for an extra $4 million relief fund. If Antino promised strict controls on the use of the funds and audits and said that there would be very close conditions for how loans are repaid. FIFA is financing the enormous relief fund by dipping into its reserves with $328 million covering grants and $556 million to the finance, finance of loans. Clubs and federations 
are in real danger in some parts of the world. Football has not restarted. We need to help them, he said. So Gianni Infantino and FIFA coming to the relief of clubs in their 211 member nations. Kudos to FIFA. Kudos to everyone involved in this. So that has been it for today. Talking to you about Kevin Prince Boateng's emotional plea to those in charge to help stop systemic racism. Also, Legon City is the only club in Ghana to have conducted COVID-19 tests for every single squad player and $1.5 million Ghana FA is set to receive. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.